hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kelvin johnson in this video i'm going to show you how to bypass the windows 11 tpm 2.0 which is required by microsoft for um in, for installing windows 11. so let's say you try to install windows 11 and your device does not meet the requirement of the tpm 2.0 probably you are using the tpm 1.1 or 1.0 and you were not able to install um, windows 11. so during the installation process you may receive an error message which says this pc cannot can't run windows 11 because this pc don't meet the minimum system requirement to install this version of windows so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to solve that problem so what happens is this during the installation process before when maybe when you start your device and your device will try to it will give you a window setup and during the process it will try to check if you meet that requirement when you don't meet that requirement it's going to actually show you a pop-up by displaying that your, your device uh, windows cannot run on this per se but i'm going to show you how to solve that so what you need to do is during that process when you get to the setup uh, issue whereby you receive that error message what you need to do is, is to press shift and f12 probably on your on your window depends on the um version of um with laptop you are using or desktop maybe hp uh, lenovo so i'm going to just press shift f12 or f10 and let me see f shift plus f10 so it's going to actually bring out bring up the command prompt so during the, in this command prompt what we need to do is we need to actually start the registry oh sorry registered it so if you start the registry it, we are going to actually create a reg file in the hk local machine and we're going to create that under the hk local machine and under uh let me see i think it should be under system and here on our setup so what we need to do first we are going to create a new key and this we are going to call it lab config and also in the lab config key we're going to create two d word so the first one is we're going to create a d word which is 32 bit the first one is going to be called bypass Sorry, my keyboard is actually changing because I'm using Azeti, so I need to actually check because right now it's changed to QWERTY because I'm using the command prompt from the installation process of Windows. So bypass, then secure, boot, check, and then we have to change the data to one. Okay, cat lock is off. So one and then okay so we're going to create a second one which is the bypass tpm check so we're going to create a do 32 i want to say it's going to be bypass tpm check so we're going to change this value to one as well so what happens is this so during the installation process your device will not check if um, the TPM is configured on on on, on your Windows um, 10, 10 or your on your laptop, so it's going to actually bypass the TPM check, which is going to allow you to install Windows 11 without any issue. So what you need to do is just close this, and then close this again, and then we can let me just select the right keyboard, and then we can then continue with the installation process without a problem but mind you i'm doing this on a virtual on a virtual machine that's why i'm not getting that error which says my device does not meet the requirement to run windows 11 but if you are doing this on a physical device definitely and you, you don't have the right tpm you're in like tpm to 1.0 1.1 you're going to get that error message and I'm going to show you a different method how to recreate your ISO file so that your device is not going to we bypass the TPM check during the installation process. So then now I can just click next and accept the license terms and then click next and then we can actually just install Windows and then click next to start the installation process without any issue. So, but mind you, before, even if you bypass the TPM um, 
mode uh, the tpm 2.0 but you will need to also make sure that your device have at least a minimum of four gigabytes of memory before you should be able to upgrade your device to windows 11 or do a fresh install using a using an iso file my name is kelvin johnson please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video and also just give me a thumb up for taking my time to create this video so and also please if you have any question or comments you can always leave your um comment in the description of this video in the comment section of this video and i will reply you as quick as possible you can also send me a personal email which i'm going to leave in the description of this video and i'll reply to your mail as quick as possible thank you very much and hope to see you next time bye